Hey, don't forget, today's New Year's Day, and you can't do laundry on New Year's Day. You'll make somebody die and something like that. And, uh, just don't forget to cook the black-eyed peas and, and, hey, hang on, baby, my phone's on silent. I'm getting a call, though, hang on. Yeah. Oh, hey, Daryl. Hey. Really? Yeah, I seen that on Facebook when I first woke up this morning. Yeah, yeah, it's, folks was out and about last night and shooting them old firecrackers and, yeah. Yeah, Lucy was out in the yard barking and, and about had a seizure and scared her half to death, man. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that on Facebook too, man. It's, it's a crazy world we live in. Man, man, the stuff people do for New Year's, man, knowing they gonna get locked up and cops is buttholes and like they just they they pricks, man, and they 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 pull you over doing roadblocks and everything, man. You know how it goes. But yeah, yeah, man. I had a pretty good and I was asleep when that when that old Courthouse bell struck just right across the street from me, man. I, I didn't even hear it, man. I was snoring, man. I woke up, drool all over my mouth. Looked like dried marshmallows. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah, I know it's New Year's Day. I stayed up really late last night. But, uh, yeah, this is Heather here. Um, y'all ain't gonna believe it, but me and Jake... We'd been dating for only like 10 years. I mean, we were we were little tater thoughts, you know. We were little bitty, knee high to a grasshopper. And we were dating and our love just grew and grew. And last night when the, when the bell struck midnight that it was New Year's Day, he proposed to me and I love him so much. And I said, yes, of course, of course I did, yeah. We were a little tipsy. I might not should have said yes right away as quickly as I did. I didn't even let him finish asking. He had such a nice ring. Oh, that's him texting me now. Gotta go. Crying shame. Here it is. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, and I still ain't heard from my daughter. She dropped them youngins off on me last night, and it's a crying shame. Can't see them grandkids unless it's it, it's to their benefit. Can't see the grandkids unless they, they mom and dad get to go out and do drinking and smoking and I do dope. I, I don't see how anybody can mess with that old mess. It's a crying shame. Hell, if you can spread your legs and make them, you ought to be able to raise them. That's what I say. But it. It's a new generation. It's younger generation. Man. It's just something about them. It's just something about them. I just, I just don't know anymore. My own dang daughter don't let me see the grand youngin unless they stay the night on New Year's Eve, only because they going out to the strip clubs. Mm mm mm.